episode of Comics Review. I'm your host, Kevin Starkey. The first comic I'm going to talk about today is Five Ronin. This is issue number one of five from Marvel. Uh, and this issue is uh, devoted to Wolverine. There's going to be five of these with a different um, character in each. The next one is the Hulk. Uh, Punisher is the third one. Psylocke is the fourth. And then Deadpool is in the fifth one. They're going to come out weekly for in the month of March. And... Um, let me tell you the writer and the, and the artist on this. The writer on this is Peter Milligan, and the artist is Tom Coker. And the color artist is Daniel Friedman. Um, I picked this up. I used to... It sounded like an interesting premise. It takes place in the 1600s in Japan, samurais and stuff like that. Um, and I, I liked Wolverine and Punisher back in, you know, when I used to collect them in the late 80s, early 90s. So... I thought, well, you know, I'll check it out and see what, you know, get the first one at least and see what it's like. And um, it's really good. The artwork in here, very um, Asian feel to it, uh, nice coloring, great storytelling. Um, I don't want to give too much of the story away, um, but definitely go out and pick it up. Um, it's really, really a neat story with Wolverine in it. And um, yeah, I don't want to say much more because... Um, I don't want to give it all away. It's a good story, and I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. I'm definitely uh, going to collect that one. The next comic I'm going to talk about is Sticks and Stone. This um, I mentioned last week that I had picked up issue number two, and I was waiting to find out if I was ever going to get issue number one, and I got it a week later, so that's cool. I checked out this issue. It's from Blue Water Comics, and um, it's quite good, actually. Um, neat artwork in here. It's um, not, they don't use a lot of colors in here, maybe like two or three, four colors. Um, really cool artwork. I like the style. Um, the main character in here, Stone, Mel Stone, he's a cop. And he has sort of the consciousness, I guess, of another guy, uh, James Wyatt, in his head. So he hears this guy talking all the time. And... Uh, um, Stone just got a new partner, this girl, um, her name's Claire, and they are investigating some murders. He meets her basically at the first crime scene, and it's, um, it's a good comic. I'm really enjoying it, actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, um, but, um, it, it's neat because he's always dealing with this guy in his head, and, and Styx is, is a character who is involved somehow. It's almost like a supernatural, almost like a devil, or I, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm, I'm anxious to see where it's gonna go. I have issue number two in the stack upstairs to read, so um, I'll check that out and see if it, it's gonna stay on my list, basically. But um, you might wanna check it out, it's pretty good. Um, the next comic I wanna talk about is uh, from Image Comics. This is Carbon Gray. This is issue number one. I had, I was listening to a podcast uh, last week, and they were interviewing one of the writers on this, Huang Naguyen. Um, and he was talking about it, and and it just sounded really good and really fascinating. So um, I picked it up, and it's very good. Um, the artwork in here is very Asian, uh, very Asian feel to it. Um, it's got a very steampunk feel to it also. Um, and it takes place in Germany. There's a big war going on, and basically these three girls are like descendants of this Gott Faust the Grey character, who was some big hero in this fictional Germany. And I guess every generation he has his 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 he has three daughters, and then they you know they have three daughters, and so it's gotten down to the, the time where. Um, They've had four daughters, a fourth one. Um, they have two, and then they have twins, twin girls, instead of just the third daughter. So they're, I guess there's some mythology or whatever. They're, they're, they're saying that this fourth daughter needs to um, gain control for their family, get, get respect back for them, and get their com country out of the wars and stuff. Um, her name's Matilda, this fourth daughter. And um, fourth granddaughter or whatever, great granddaughter. Um, she's the fourteenth Gray, so I guess the original Gray was got got Faust, and then there's been 
13 daughters and now, now she's the 14th. Um, and these Kaisers have taken over the country and they sort of use their ancestor as this hero to prop themselves up basically. And, um, and this, this comic, it just starts out the, 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 um, the Kaiser's killed and these girls are involved and um, the Kaiser's sort of underlings know that it's these girls somehow and so it's basically his underlings against the girls and um, they're just kicking butt and and uh, it's 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 a great comic I'm really enjoying it um, beautiful artwork great coloring sort of rambling on here but definitely pick that up it's, it's an excellent series and then the last comic I'm going to talk about t uh, today is Ethan with a question mark on the end I guess and this one is also very Asian feel to it um, neat coloring beautiful artwork um, it starts out with um, this guy wakes up and he doesn't know what happened to him he's with he's with a girl he doesn't remember any of that and the next thing he knows these stormtroopers bust through and uh, take it take him under arrest they're calling him a different name he sees his own reflection and realizes that's not what he looks like he doesn't know what's happening to him he's in jail um, he's gonna be put to death it's in the future this takes place in Japan they had outlawed uh, capital punishment for a long period of time and then no one really remembered it anymore and then they brought it back and so he's gonna be put to death and um, everyone watches it it's sort of like a, a big event and he's freaking out because he's like I'm not this person I didn't do these things and I don't know what's going on and then it goes on from there um, he ends up going you know that that body ends up dying but he ends up in a new person and that's a whole different story and um, wow this is a, a really cool comic I'm definitely anxious to see what they're going to do with this. Um, really great artwork, good storytelling. I uh, highly recommend it uh, if you can find it. This is by um, GG Studio Design. Uh, www.ggstudiodesign.com is the is the address for that uh, publishing company. So you might want to check them out. I don't know. It's a very uh, unusual name. I've never heard of that uh, company before, but um, definitely I like it. Um, yeah, here's the, I'll go through the stack of the other stuff I have. I haven't read these yet, but um, I might talk a little bit about some of them. Um, here's Incognito Bad Influences, issue number four. I guess issue number five is going to be the final one there. Um, it's a neat, neat series. Um, here's Ethan number two, actually, the one I was just talking about, number one. I haven't read this yet, but um, that looks cool. Here's Daomu, I guess you pronounce that. It's number two. I really enjoyed the first issue. I can't wait to see where they're going with that one. Here's uh, Walking Dead Weekly number nine. Yeah. Abattoir number three. I think that's a, of six. Yeah. That's by Radical Comics. That's that's a really cool series. Um, here's G.I. Joe Infestation. I'm not a G.I. Joe fan, but I've been collecting these Infestation um, comics from IDW, so um, I'm anxious to see what they're going to do in here. Uh, hopefully it's interesting. Uh, Here's Lucid. This is issue number four of four, the final one. Um, that's a strange series. I, I'm not super excited about that one, but it'll be neat to see how they um, end that one. Here's Doorways, uh, number four from IDW. And this was from Arkea, by the way, the uh, Lucid. <clears throat> this one is a neat series. It's like jumping through different portals into different worlds and stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool. And then here's another one from the GG Studios who I'd never heard of. This is The Body Snatchers. Not sure if that's going to be a good one or not, but um, the artwork looked pretty cool in there. Um, I'll give it a shot and see what it's like. Um, and that's it for this week. Uh, please leave a comment here on YouTube or over my blog at 2 Let me know what you're reading this week. Have you read any of the stuff I talked about? And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.